Hello. Excited for today's topic, which I will be putting up on YouTube later. But it will be temporarily up on my Instagram. Hi. Hope you're doing well. Hey. Hi, Tuesday. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well today. I'll give it one more moment and then we'll talk about today's topic. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. Hey, beautiful. Thank you. You're beautiful too. Okay, so I'm going to hop on in. Today I wanted to talk about scrying. So most of you may know this as crystal ball gazing or crystal ball readings. So, and I have, I'm out of practice. I have not done any crystal ball scrying or in like, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. So in case you didn't know, the term for it is scrying. And what it is, is when you gaze into an object and you can receive um, intuitive messages, visions, um, it really kind of depends on how your gift works. I mean, most of the time it's going to be a clairvoyant message where you're seeing something. But, you know, sometimes these tools, these divination tools just work as a catalyst for downloads to come through. Like maybe for in some cases, you may not necessarily see something, but the fact that you're opening up to it and using this as like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I just keep saying catalyst because I can't think of the other word I'm looking for. Catalyst for a message, then you may hear something. But scrying is when you are looking into an object, usually a reflective source like a crystal ball, like a mirror. People will scry into mirrors. Water, people will scry into water or fire even. Me personally, I can scry into just about anything. Like I could be scrying at the popcorn ceiling or I can be looking at a piece of abstract art and I can begin to get messages from that and when you are scrying and I'm going to explain a little bit about how I do it and how it works at least for me um, <clears throat> and when you are scrying you can ask for a you can ask a question like something you want to message to or you can just be open to whatever messages you need to receive in your highest good. And then, then you would interpret the message you're receiving. So um, scrying, and this is my little mini crystal ball. This one is rose quartz. I have an amethyst one over there and a clear quartz. I really wanna get a big, huge one, but I have these little tiny ones for now. And you'll see that with some of these, sometimes they'll be called a crystal ball sphere. You'll see that with some of these, they'll be like the completely clear ones where you can see straight through it or the ones like this to where I can't think of the proper word, but the best way I can call it is like little distortions. It's got a little fogginess, kind of almost looks like little clouds in there. I like ones like this because that way these little foggy, cloudy things, these little distortions, um, they can begin to shift or move and I'll see images in them. But I can do it with the um, obscure. Thank you. Thank you. I was looking for the word obscure. Um, uh, sometimes I can do it with a, a, the clear crystal balls that are completely clear where you can see straight through. And when I do it that way, then it's like the objects in the room or the reflections I'm getting will begin to shift and change and I'll see messages that way. So I like to think of it like cloud watching. When you're cloud watching and you just kind of rest and relax and you kind of let your gaze lose focus like so when I'm looking at this and I'll do a little message at the end too when I'm looking at this I'm gonna relax and I'm gonna let my gaze lose focus to where things start to look foggy and then I'll start to see images or hear things or feel things and then interpret it and I related to cloud watching because it's very similar um, to where you see things in the clouds and then you can interpret those images and those messages. Um, but like I said, I scry on just about anything. It's just a matter of um, allowing that um, gaze to kind of, what's the word? 
seeing from all angles, not from the peripherals, not just straight on, but straight on all around from peripherals everywhere, everything. And you kind of let it get to that place when you are just looking at something and things start to look a little bit foggy. It kind of gets to that point and then you start to see things moving around. And sometimes it'll be, uh, sometimes the messages come through will kind of be like literal things that happen or they'll be more symbolic or like, like let's say I see a, um, a fire truck um that could be like symbolic or like a metaphor for something that i need to know or interpret as well so it can kind of go up either way and it may work different for you so if you guys do crystal scrying or scrying in mirrors or fire or water or anything else feel free to comment below and share what you do or maybe even some tips because i like reading those for those who may be interested and things like that so um I'm gonna go ahead, that's a little short summary. Let me know if you guys have any questions, okay? Um, I'm gonna ask for a message for the collective today. And you can move it around if you want to till something catches your eye. Okay, so I'm seeing like a sword in the stone. It looks almost like the Ace of Swords, but it's not upright. It's like sword in the stone. It's a sword stuck in a stone, kind of like, what's that? Is it Merlin? Is it Camelot? Whatever it is. But that's the vibe I'm getting from it. And so how I'm going to interpret that for the collective right now is just that getting to our power getting to that source it may prove to be difficult and other people's strategies on how we access it may not always work for us but if it is for you kind of like how it was i was it merlin i might be getting the characters wrong but if it's for you you will be that one who's able to access it in your own way in your own path so i'm saying this to say that like the you do have a power we all have our unique abilities and however you choose to interpret that but you know, not everyone is going to, what's the word? Your blessing is your blessing. You know what I mean? Not everyone is going to have access exactly in the same way as what is for you. So at the same time, what I'm hearing Spirit talking about is a need to stop comparing your world and your life to what you're seeing everybody else doing. Because when you don't know what's going on with them behind closed doors and also your blessing, your time is going to be your blessing in your time. Theirs is theirs. So have patience with the divine timing have patience that when it's your time to access something you'll be able to access it you'll be able to pull the sword out of the stone if that is for you at that time hopefully that makes sense but that's what i got from it so that's kind of an example of like a, a scrying interpretation and that was just a general one for the collective but like i said in the beginning you can ask specific questions um or you can just see whatever comes through Reminds me of an eight ball concept, but without the cheat sheet. <laughs> you know what? I kind of want to get another eight ball. I used to have it when I was younger, when I was a little kid. And now I want, I want a magic eight ball to play with and see how it goes. Really cool message. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. So that's all I have for you guys. A little tutorial on scrying. Um, if you guys would like more messages like this instead of the regular cards of the day, let me know maybe i'll put a poll up and see if you guys like this and maybe i can start doing this as more of a thing too in addition to the cards i'm never gonna stop using cards i love cards they're a passion for me um but still like if you guys like some of these change-ups like i did a pick a card with my pendulum like a yes or no one not pick a card pick a number with my pendulum yes or no reading i'm trying to switch it up more because i have many skills beyond just cards which people don't know because i use cards so much but that's because i love cards i'm a very um what's the word is it textile and i'm visual i love cards for that reason and that's why but anyway yes hi just front tuning in dang i missed don't worry i'm gonna save it uh i'm gonna save it so if you missed it from the beginning it'll temporarily be up on my instagram but it's gonna end up on my youtube eventually so you'll be able to catch it some way shape or form but i'm gonna go ahead and run you guys i have some orders to do so thank you for you for those of you who have been booking readings on my website and who have been ordering the decks and subscribing to my channel 
and liking the videos and all of that. I truly appreciate all of you and I will talk to you another time. Goodbye.